Okay, welcome to our first year 11 session for revision on population growth. This will be looking at how and why the world's population is growing. Now, the first thing which we're going to consider is this graph. This is a graph of world population development running from 1750 all the way through to projected growth rates in 2050. You will notice that there are two colours. There is the blue colour which represents our developing countries, these are our LICs, and then we've got the orangey yellow colour which is our industrialised countries, and these are our HICs. You will notice that the growth isn't evenly spread amongst these countries, and you will also notice that it's taken a long time for the world's population growth to actually occur. If, you just, if we just look at the mouse cursor for a second and follow the graph, in 1750, the world's population was just below a billion. Over time, it's taken almost it's taken almost 200 years for the world's population to actually double. Since effectively 1940, the world's population has been rapidly increasing, though, and you can see that it's rapidly increasing up to our present-day figure of seven billion, and to our future figure projected of te just over 10 billion by 2050. Now this is going to be a population change which affects our lifetimes. Now, the thing which you need to understand is what can the exam board ask you about this? Well, there was a question on the June 2011 paper which went roughly along these lines. It said, study the figure, which is the diagram you have in front of you. It shows the growth of global population between 1750 and 2050. Describe the changes shown on figure 4C and use the population data in your answer. This is worth three marks. Now why don't you pause the video and answer the question. So, having answered the question, hopefully the kind of things which you're going to have included are things that there has been an overall population increase, the rate of growth has been rapid since 1950, and it was a slow growth rate between 1800 and 1950. Now, by 2050, the growth is predicted to slow down, and most of the growth has been occurring in developing countries. Now, you should now be asking yourself, how many marks do you think this, this question gets? The reality is that if we wrote everything on there, we'd probably get two out of three marks. The reason behind why this is the case is because we are missing data. The following answer would be an th example of a three mark, or in excess of getting three marks because there's too many points here, but it's the kind of thing you should be including. So if you notice, just looking at the first point, the overall population has increased from 1 billion in 1800 to projected 10 billion by 2050. Also note, at no point in time have I been trying to explain why this is occurring. We shall look at this in our next screen session. Okay, so that ends our session looking at global population change.